Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get shaders for Minecraft in 2024. Shaders, of course, helps to enhance Minecraft graphics, giving it a much more realistic and vibrant look. Now, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. But if you do have any issues, just leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. Before we start, it's important you know that not all shaders are the same. I'll throw up a few different examples on screen of various different shader packs and you can see they all give off different effects. Some are brighter, some are darker, some make clouds look cool, some give sun glare, some require a decent PC. So the shader pack completely depends on your preference. Popular shaders usually include packs like Sue, Silders, Complementary, Kappa and Chocopic. But there's of course many more to choose from. To do some research and figure out which one personally looks the best for you. For the purpose of this tutorial though, we'll be downloading BS sell shaders, which is a good all-round shaders, good for FPS, while still looking great. So head to the top link in the description, which will take you to the CurseForge website, and you can see the BSL shaders. From here, head over to Files. As you can see, it's a very popular shader pack with over 28 million downloads, but we can just download the most recent version here by hitting the three dots and click download file. Now, just wait five seconds and the download will begin. And while we're waiting, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe leaving a nice comment. Also, we're going to be needing Optifine for this, and most other shader packs too. But don't worry, it's really easy to download. If you already have Optifine installed, that's great. You can skip ahead of this part of the tutorial. So if you head to the Optifine link in the description, you're going to see a link which is going to take you directly to the Optifine website, and it should look just like this. Head up to the top and look for Downloads. Now, if you are looking to download the current latest version of Minecraft, which for me is 1.25 1, then you can click mirror here. Depending on when you are watching this video, this may be 1.20.2 or 1.20.3 etc. You can also check out and download the preview versions here or alternatively if you're playing on an older version, for example Minecraft 1.19, you can find that under show all versions. So once you click mirror, you'll be directed to this page. Simply go ahead and click download. Once Optifine is downloaded, we can minimize the web browser and head over to your downloads folder on your desktop desktop and you should see both the Optifine file and the shaders pack here. Next we can temporarily drag both downloads to your home screen. Double click the Optifine file and you'll get this pop-up window. Just click install and all should be good. Now if you're getting any issues downloading this Optifine then it's probably because you haven't played this version of Minecraft yet. So simply load up the version of Minecraft you want to play, for example this is 1.20.1, get to the title screen and then close it down. Now your PC has the correct files, it will install correctly. You can now delete Optifine from your desktop as it's fully installed and now open the Minecraft launcher. It should now by default load in with the Optifine version you've just installed. But just in case it hasn't, head over to installations, double check modded is selected, click the versions drop down menu, select the Optifine version and click create. Everything should now work correctly and when you load it up it should say something like Minecraft modded in the bottom left. You now have loads more customization options, the potential for shaders and most importantly actually decent frames per second. As for installing the shaders, it's as simple as a drag and drop. Click options, video settings and then shaders. This is the shaders menu and where all your shader packs will live and you can easily toggle between the BSL one we're downloading currently right now and any others you may decide to download later on. Open the shaders folder, drag and drop the BSL pack into this folder, close down the folder and you'll now see it within your Minecraft. You can now load up one of your Minecraft worlds or a server and as you can probably see it seems like nothing actually changed. This is because we simply need to select it. So once again options, video settings, shaders and this time click the BSL shaders. It's then going to show a loading screen just while it loads up and congratulations you've successfully downloaded shaders. There's tons of customization settings now and I'll let you play around with that yourself but for now Please leave a like if this video helps you out and have a lovely day. Goodbye.